Randy Sheckman studied how the cell organizes its transport system. In the 1970s, he studied the genetic basis for this transport process using yeast as a cell model. This slide depicts vesicle transport in normal yeast cells on the left and in mutant yeast cells on the right. Sheckman identified yeast cells with defective transport machinery. The blue bubble-like vesicles piled up in certain parts of the cell. Sheckman found that the cause of this congestion was genetic. And he went on to identify the genes that mediate specific steps in vesicle transport. James Rothman also studied the nature of the cell's transport system. This slide shows a vesicle at three different stages in the transport process. It also shows the membrane of the cell. In the 1980s and 1990s, Rothman discovered specific proteins pictured here on the vesicle in orange and the membrane in orange as well. These specific proteins form a complex enabling vesicles to fuse with their target membranes, shown here in the center. In the fusion process, proteins on the vesicle and target membranes bind to each other like two sides of a zipper. This ensures that the vesicle fuses at the right location and that the cargo molecules can be delivered to the correct destination. But questions still lingered. How is the release of the cargo controlled in such a precise manner? Thomas Sudoff, he was interested in how nerve cells communicate with one another in the brain and how signals instruct vesicles to release their cargo with precision. In the 1990s, he searched for calcium-sensitive proteins that control this process. He identified molecular machinery, shown here in purple, that senses calcium ions and triggers vesicle fusion. Calcium binds to this machinery and triggers the complete fusion of the vesicle with the target membrane. Sudoff's discovery explained how temporal precision was achieved and how vesicles could rapidly release their cargo upon command. All right, so this slide will show an animation of the machinery regulating vesicle traffic. The vesicle and the membrane are shown. The vesicle is routed towards its membrane. Proteins on the vesicle and the membrane bind to each other like two sides of a zipper. The vesicle fuses with the membrane. Once the vesicle is in position, it must wait until calcium enters the cell. Calcium binds to a molecular sensor on this complex, and that explains how temporal precision is achieved and how signaling substances can be released from the vesicle on command. The vesicle transport system is critical for a variety of physiological processes, ranging from signaling in the brain, to release of hormones, to release of immune cytokines. Without this wonderfully precise organization, the cell would lapse into chaos. Defective vesicle transport occurs in a variety of diseases, including a number of neurological and immunological disorders, as well as in diabetes. The 2013 Nobel laureates have discovered a fundamental process of cell physiology. Their discoveries have had a major impact to advance the understanding of the machinery regulating vesicle traffic, a major transport system in the cell.